Welcome back to that dad guy. It's December the 5th, 2022. And today I want to show you the contents of three envelopes that I received last week. And uh, yeah, they're all a variety of different things. And then there's a couple other envelopes I still going to show you in future video. But um, in order for this not to be super, super long, I condensed it down to pick these three envelopes to go together to show you. The other thing I wanted to talk about, it was this envelope that came from the Netherlands and um, I had mentioned that there wasn't a stamp and it reached me uh, well one of you fantastic subscribers sent me a message and said that uh, in the Netherlands and Sweden and some other countries if you buy your postage online there is no stamp they send you a code to put on your envelope and that's how you send it so that's what this is this is an online code that they've used we're learning things every day, or at least I'm learning things every day. You guys may have already known that. And uh, when I had mentioned it on Friday that I got here without a stamp, you were like, well, duh, it's got the code right there. I'd never heard of that. So I wanted to bring that up. wanted to mention it in case there was somebody else out there that had never heard of that way in the postal system um, that some, some countries do. All right. That being said, let's get to envelope number one. This is envelope number one. It comes from Bex in the UK. And what did she send? So, if I can pull this stuff out. First, she sent me this nice little Star Wars, Lego Star Wars envelope. It's my name on the front and a little note inside for me. So thank you, Bex, for that. And then she sent me a bunch of postcards, all blank. So let me show you this one. All right, this first one's actually in a uh, protective cover. It is a uh, vintage postcard. You can see here, never been used on the back. It says uh, Robin Hood's Bay Bridge End. So stone wall, small streets, nice houses. There's that one. There's this one with the teddy bear. Once again, this teddy bear reminds me of the teddy bear my brother had. Uh, I sent it a postcard not that long ago that had a similar bear, but this one is almost identical, I would say, to the, post to the bear that my brother had. She sent a blue cat card playing hockey. So that's going to be fun. This is my first blue cat card that I will be able to send out to somebody as it's not uh, used yet. We have Worf from Star Trek Next Generation here. For anyone who may be a Star Trek fan. Or Commander Geordi LaForge, also from Next Generation. We have the Everyday Vegetable book cover. Bonne Cuisine. Mama Bobette. Oh, there's a nice movie about that. The Savannah Cookbook. I really like this one here. The Gorilla and the Cat. Which is more menacing to you looking at it? This cat or this gorilla? I'm thinking this one's got something up his sleeve. Or this one here made me laugh. Good morning, human. Or a cat. If you're a cat, family owner or a cat uh, if you have cats in your life maybe you're used to seeing the cat looking at you that way here all right look at this one here this reminds me of all sorts of pieces of cheese which I assume it is but it also could be slices of cake or slices of pie what do you think it is we have this one here Royal Mail this is an astronomy card, came out. We have a D-Day card. Are you a yoga person and have a cat in your life? Maybe you've uh, experienced this pose. Cat and dog owners, cats and dogs do different things, that's for sure. Another cat card. Or maybe a plant card, however you want to see it. There's a Simpsons card with Moses Lack. He's the bartender of his pub called Moe's. And then all the information about Moe. And then just a nice picture postcard. So that's going to give me a variety of more cards that I will be able to send out that cover a whole bunch of topics and uh, some stuff that I never had before. I've never had a Simpsons card before. 
I've never uh, had a blank blue cat card. I've had some sent to me, fortunately, but I uh, never had them to send out. Um, Star Trek cards, those are cool. I haven't had any of those. I've had Star Wars, but never Star Trek. So thank you, Bex, for that wonderful envelope. All right, let's move on to the next one. This one here I started to cover. This is from Eric. He sent this while he was in Portugal. There is a letter. Uh, all right, so he sent some postcards. So I showed you those already if you tuned in before. And then he sent some stamps that are on uh, like souvenir sheet stamps. So that one. This is a Lord of the Rings one, so fantastic. It's a circular stamp. Love the image of everything on the outside. Haven't had any of this series before, so that's a big score to get that. That's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, I love this one here. Explorers. Another circular stamp. There's that. And then he sent a little envelope. And he sent some postcards too, but these are all postcards that are all maxi cards. So the stamp is there, it's been stamped already on it. These are Predator Animals maxi cards that came out in 2016. It's a full series set. I'm reading that because he sent this nice letter that explains everything what we're looking at here. How beautiful are these? These. I won't be sending off because the stamps will not work in this country. So what I would have to do is put a Canadian stamp on the back and mail it off that way. And then so you'd have a maxi card plus you'd have a uh, Canadian. I don't know. I'll think about it. But I think this is beautiful that it's a complete set too. So I think I may take these as the gift that they were send it, uh, intended. And uh, keep these in the stamp collection. Maybe not with my postcards, but with the stamps, we shall see. But uh, yeah, that's fantastic, Eric. That's, that's a huge honor that you'd send that. I appreciate that so much. And then he wasn't done there. He sent another envelope. We'll get into that one. And it's another maxi card. You can see this one here. These are uh, the Legends of Matchim Maxi Card. A few weeks ago, these are Max uh, cards complete with official post uh, stories and myths Maxi Cards. That one and this one. And you can see on the back, they've never been sent. They're mint. He also sent a uh, Palace postcard with the stamp on it. All of them he turned into Maxi Cards. So. Yeah, no, I'm super grateful. Um, he put a lot of money into sending this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm blown away, Eric. I, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot that you would uh, take the time to find these things while you were away on vacation and uh, put them together. What he had, he put this letter together. He says, uh, what are the odds? Well, there are 800,000 plus registered members of postcrossing.com. Let's say only half of them are active. That leaves a 0.00025% chance of me getting your address. So as a subscriber to my YouTube channel, he happened to pull my address and uh, that's what he sent. That plus those postcards that I showed you on Friday. So thank you so much, Eric. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you today is a uh, another official card that got sent to me, but uh, I'll show you what it's in the envelope. Get all the contents out here. Ooh causing too much grief. So this little tiny postcard, and I mean little tiny because there's a regular envelope. And that's what it has on the back. That. And this here that has a uh, recipe on the back, but it would have to be Google translated. But the sweet tarts that it creates look good. This Moshi, which is just a sheet.
sheet from something or other, activity book or something. Someone may collect that, so I may be able to send that back off to somebody else. Then we have, looks like a, a prayer card. Also, it's in Polish, so I can't read it. I have this one here, which is handwritten on the back. Beautiful image on the front, though. Kind of a Mother Mary type sticker. Well, not sticker, but uh, so that. And they also sent some stamps. You remember the envelope it was all covered in stamps? I put a few stamps in there for my father, too. So let me turn this around so you can see. So these are the stamps that he sent. So there's some German ones, there's an Austrian one, and this massive Polish. Pairing. Little Polish. Good from the US. Mm. So it looks like a bunch of mail that they probably got, and he uh, collected the stamps off it and then sent them to me. So I'm very appreciative. So, Mariola, thank you so much from Poland for your envelope of goodies. It's always nice to get a surprise. Um, in Post Crossing, we think of just the postcard, and we might be lucky enough to get beautiful stamps on it too, but when someone takes the time and effort, like you and Eric, when you get official uh, Post Crossing things, to put them in envelopes and put other things in it, that's fantastic. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Uh, I know it meant a lot to my father when he was looking at some of the stamps we saw before, so uh, I, I hope to get a chance to show him some more of these stamps soon. So he can see it. The next thing I think I'll have to do though uh, before with the stamps is uh, all these stamps that come on paper backing I'm gonna have to soak them off and uh, let them dry to take that uh, paper backing off them and it might be a video for you too uh, to see of how I do that. Um, I use my father's techniques I still have all his uh, his uh, cardboard and things that he used for soaking and drying so I might get to show you that too. All right well that's all I've got for you today and uh, when I mean that's all, that is so much. Uh, thank you from to Bex and to Eric and Mariola for these three envelopes and all their contents. Um, makes me happy uh, with the things that have come and I'm hoping to make other people's happy by sending back out some of that stuff into the world as well. So hopefully you guys are having a good start to your week or maybe you're watching this at a later date. So hopefully you have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.